and welcome to Community Connection. I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. The protection of animals in our community is a great concern of many people here in Utah. I'm sure many of you know people who've adopted their pets, or maybe you have. Today we have Carl Arkey from the Humane Society of Utah here with us to talk about how that organization is working to care for animals in our state. Welcome, Carl. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, Kaiwa and I are both very happy to be here. And welcome, Kaiwa. Tell us about him. <laughs> Kaiwa is a seven-year-old Border Collie mix. Uh, came into us because a family moved and couldn't take Kaiwa along with uh, them. So uh, Kaiwa has been uh, taking up residence at the Humane Society of Utah, and we need to find him a home. Yes, he's so sweet. He's a good dog. Now you mentioned moves, does that happen a lot where people need to bring their animals? To be, we see a it? lot of different reasons. People move, divorce situations, somebody's having a baby, bringing it home, which by the way, the baby's better off if you keep a dog in the house. A lot of reasons why. Really, why? Oh, yeah. why? Well, because dogs do carry some um, germs and some dirt and some bacteria and they bring it in and it helps the baby develop the immune system faster. So for people who are thinking of giving up their dog because they're having a baby, you might want to rethink that. Rethink that. Uh-huh. Well, you know, and you bring up the different reasons why animals might end up in a shelter, and that, I think sometimes there's a misconception, like, why mm. would I want one of those animals in the shelter? Because they must be the mean ones, or... There's a stigma. You know. There is a stigma that goes along with shelter animals, and I'm glad you brought it up, because a dog like Kaiwa is not a second-hand animal. It's a second-chance dog. And we have second chance dogs, second chance cats. Usually an animal winds up in an animal shelter like ours because it's a people problem. It's not, a, it's not the animal's problem, it's not the animal's fault. They end up being the victim in the situation and the victim of circumstances. And uh, they're great animals. As you can tell, Kaiwa is very friendly, very nice, very socialized, loves to play, uh, would probably do best in a home with kids who are a little bit older, over 13, but um, housebroken. Um, gets along with other dogs. In many cases, our dogs will get along with cats. So it's really not the animal, it's usually the guardian. It's, it's the owner that has the issue. Yeah, which is, you know, after getting a, a puppy, I know that it's a lot of work. It and is sometimes a lot of work. it is a people issue. Well, it's sure. not the animal that needs to learn, it's the people. And, and people have to understand it's a lifetime commitment. Mm -hmm. um, I think most of us have kids. Um, sometimes our kids misbehave, but we're not giving them back. We're right. keeping them, we're working through that, and we want to encourage people to do the same with their pets. And if someone's thinking about making that commitment and getting a dog or a cat, why should they think about going to the shelter instead of the... That's well, it. that's a great question because we have an overpopulation problem, a pet overpopulation problem. And so we're always encouraging people to adopt rather than buy an animal. Uh, if, if an animal is purchased, that means a shelter dog like this sits and waits that much longer and maybe never finds a home. So uh, we really want to pe have people think about adoption first. It's a consciousness, a r awareness, a, a raising of the consciousness that there's a greater good in adopting an animal that already exists and is already here and needs a family and needs a good home. Right, Kaiwa? And what are some of the other services that you offer? Your uh, we have a foster care department. Uh, where we foster animals. We have over 200 families who help us foster animals. Uh, we'll take kittens who need to be bottle fed every two hours for maybe three months, and we'll do that uh, out of the kindness of their hearts. We have an outreach department that takes animals to uh, Petco and PetSmart stores, and so we do a lot of adoptions off-site as well. We have an education department. Uh, we have a vet clinic that does uh, about 11,000 spay and neuter surgeries a year to try to address that pet overpopulation problem. And so there's a lot of programs that we've got going on that are trying to, A, find homes and reduce the pet overpopulation problem that we have. That's great, it's, it's a great service. I know my aunt adopted from a shelter named her old dog Lucky, and I thought mm -hmm. that's an appropriate name. They're both lucky. They're both lucky. He's lucky, yeah. she's lucky. The animal's lucky and she is lucky, and yep. I think most people find that when you get a, a, a shelter animal, you will love it just as much as you would an animal you would get from a pet store or from a breeder. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't love any dog anymore. Uh, these yeah. dogs are great. I've got four, they're all from Do the you? shelter, and love every one of them. Where can we look you up online sure. to find out more? Uh, UtahHumane.org, and we have uh, an updated list of animals that are currently available for adoption. So if people are interested, and if they're looking for a certain animal, they can go there and check that. They can also leave information with us uh, if they're looking for a particular breed. Uh, we yeah. do get a lot of purebred dogs that come in. I would say about 25% of the animals that come in are purebreds. 
believe yeah. it or not. And wow. so if you're looking for a particular breed, um, or if it's not us, go to another animal shelter that's close to you. Chances are they'll have that, they might have that dog too. That's great, great services you offer. Thanks for joining us. No, thanks Tracy, Teaching I appreciate it. More. Our goal here at 11 is to be a bridge between our viewers and services available in the community. If you'd like to learn more about the Humane Society of Utah and how you can adopt a pet or help out, please visit kbyu11.org and click on Community Connection. Thanks for watching us. Please join us next time on Community Connection.